What's up, everybody? Welcome to BioWash 3 Raw TV. First of all, let's fix this fucking camera and go make that shit square. All right, now, listen, guys, it's going to be probably a deep video. I don't know how long this one's going to run, but you got to talk about the pink elephant in the room, right? Or the purple elephant in the room. Or whatever color you want that elephant to be, we're going to talk about that elephant tonight, okay? And that is, I'm getting messages, I'm getting emails, I'm getting <laughs> DMs in person, too. You know, I'm having discussions about this. Jerry, what do you think about the election fraud? Do you think that there was fraud in the 2020 election? Now, let me start off by saying I didn't vote. I've never voted a single time in my entire life. You know, I'd be like, well, Jerry, why? It's your right to vote. You think they let you choose who the president of the United States is. And I have said this my entire fucking life. Once I started to realize that, <clears throat> especially as a bodybuilder, I was like dodging fucking cops and shit fucking for a bottle of testosterone, right? A bottle of testosterone that they now prescribe to 14-year-old girls or 11-year-old girls who want to transition into being boys to stop puberty. And it's not only safe for them, it's okay and healthy. But my entire life as a grown-ass man who has high testosterone levels in his body, if I wanted to walk into, not, not saying like for medical, right? But if I wanted to change my appearance because I felt like, hey, look, genetic-wise I got screwed and I want more muscle, I feel like, you know, I identify as somebody with more muscle, I can't walk into CVS and buy that bottle. It's dangerous. The government has deemed that too dangerous for me as a grown adult, but not too dangerous for an 11-year-old girl. The government decides what I do with my body and lets them do whatever the fuck they want to do with their bodies. All right, just think about that context for a second, right? So I'm like, you won't let me fucking walk in there and choose to put on 10 pounds of muscle and live my life feeling better, but you're going to let me choose the motherfucker that runs this entire country? Bullshit. That is the biggest bunch of fucking horseshit, and I've never believed it, so I haven't voted. So fuck that. I don't believe it. I don't believe in our system. I don't believe in the electoral system. I don't believe it whatsoever. I believe that they, and they is the powers that be, whoever the fuck they are, choose who gets to go into the presidency. Now, let's back up to who they are. I also don't believe the two-party system. I don't believe they're Democrats and Republicans. I believe that there are basically people that have similar ideas, but I feel like they push everything into one side or the other to separate you so that you fight on things. You don't really pay attention to what the fuck is going on with these candidates in the first place. You're too busy arguing with each other because you've picked a side. Now, that all being said, right, that's how I felt about politics before 2020, right? Way before the election, before Trump ever came into the office, before Trump even fucking was going to run, right? Back when fucking Bush was the president, that's when I was coming to these realizations and I'm like, some really fucked up shit goes on here and I don't care, I'm not taking part in it, fuck them. That's where it was at, right? Now, the election fraud thing. Here's the deal. I'm going to take all the conspiracy shit aside because there's a lot of shit online, you don't know what the fuck is real, what's not. Every day there's something crazier popping up online. So what I like to do is I read some of it that catches my attention, I go, that's pretty crazy, and I'll read it and go, well, we'll just sit back and see if that's true. But now what I'm seeing is things on mainstream media, okay? And that is things that are talking about on Fox, on OAN, on you know MSNBC, on um, CNBC, and now even CNN has gone as far as saying, well, if there was fraud and Trump actually won, then there's nothing they can do about it anyways because Biden's the president. Like they actually said that last week and I said, hang on a second. Now I'm going to fucking chime in. Because when CNN starts saying shit like, well, if there was, no, you were saying there wasn't, okay? All mainstream media was saying there wasn't up until January this year. No fraud, no fraud, no fraud, no fraud. Here we are in July, and all of a sudden, some things are starting to come to fruition. Now, here's my personal opinion. <clears throat> I believe 100% there was election fraud. 100%. I believe that it's happened not just this year, but it's happened many years, if not all the years. I've said that, you know, like what I just stated before, I don't believe that the system is on the up and up. But I don't believe that this whole thing right now is about Trump and Biden. I believe everybody is focusing on Trump and Biden because everybody, well not everybody, but a lot of people hate Trump and a lot of people hate Biden. They're very polarizing and they pull people to the separate sides. And those separate sides is pretty much where politicians want you anyways. Red or blue, this side or that side. Choose a side. There's no in between. If you're in between, you don't fucking count. You're either with us or against us. That's what they want, right? So you now have this Trump-Biden circus for the last fucking year, right, that has completely taken off the spotlight on every other person who was on those ballots that were run down ballot. We ran out of room on the card here, but as I was saying, everybody that's on that ballot besides Trump and Biden 
I think that there was a whole bunch of fucking fraud that went into those things. My personal feeling is everybody was so focused on Biden and Trump that they're not even paying attention to those other people that are on those ballots. Now, what's the importance if Trump is the, you know, Trump and Biden are, are out there campaigning to be the president, who gives a shit about those, those under ballots, right? Well, here's the thing. A lot of us until, I'd say, last year, like, we really started learning about politics because, first of all, there was not much to do and a whole bunch of shit was coming at us with the lockdowns and stuff, and we had time to research and do things like that. I didn't really know a whole lot about politics, to be honest with you. I didn't give a fuck. Why would I? Who gives a shit? Why do I care? Right? I don't vote. I don't give a fuck. It's all, all politicians are slimy. They're all scummy. I don't give a fuck. They're all on the take. They're all bad. Right? That's my opinion. Right? So, as I'm learning that the president, and a lot of people think this, a lot of people in America think this, and I think it's unbelievable that we should know better, and I wasn't taught this in school, and I think that this goes to show you how bad the schooling systems have failed, that the president doesn't call the fucking shots for the whole country. He's not a dictator. He's not a tyrant. He's not a fucking emperor. He doesn't fucking decide everything that this country does. He may fucking come up with an idea and sign it into fucking, oh, I'm going to sign an executive order, whatever the case may be, but other court systems sue them to stop things. So there are things that the president may try to get passed that those under ballots will not allow to get passed or will allow to get passed based on who's who's being voted for in those under ballots that matches the president, etc. So the idea is if Trump won, if you can get all those people down the under ballot to win too, then hey, you're going to be able to pass a lot of things and get a lot of shit done. If not, you're going to have a lot of clashing. So as I started to learn more about that, I learned that the local governments, right, as we had... Um, you know, Trump saying that he would not make everybody wear masks. I'm not going to mandate it. Well, the local governments and the states mandated the masks, right? They went by the guidelines of the CDC. CDC can't mandate this. The local governments did. The local governments were the ones that pulled everything during the lockdown. They were the ones that shut everything down. They were the ones that made people wear masks. They were the ones that decided this, decided that, who's getting the vaccines. The local governments were the ones that decided all that. And I really started to go, you know, the more you think about it, those local governments have a lot more power than the president. Now, the president can step in and override that shit, but most of the time when they do that, they get flack for it. The president will be considered a dictator, a tyrant. You know, he's not letting the people, you know, do their job who were elected to do the job because he has a different view, et cetera, or whatever. So a lot of times, most times, the president will just back up and they let the, the state governments do whatever they want. Perfect example is, you know, marijuana in many states are legal. It's federally illegal. So technically, the president could step in and say every single state that sells marijuana, they're all getting shut down today. Technically, he could do that. Could you imagine the backlash that would happen with that? It would be fucking unbelievable. So many mo- the states make their money from that. So it really is not just about Trump and Biden. It's about Trump, Biden, everybody on that down ballot, and everybody that's in the local states and the local governments as well. That is what's super interesting to me. Now, there's a lot of people saying stuff like there was electoral fraud, but there wasn't enough to flip the election. Flip the election from who to who? You may be talking about flipping the election from Biden back to Trump. Maybe there's not enough votes to do that. But I guarantee fucking to you there's enough votes in those under ballots when they find out what the fuck went on to flip some of those people that won, that shouldn't have won, back to the rightful people that should have won in those under ballots. Now, there's a lot of people out there, again, who are fucking just, they've just had it with this Biden-Trump thing. They've had enough. Like, enough fucking talking. I don't want to fucking hear their names. Fuck them. I've had a fucked up year. I don't want to have nothing to do with it. But they went and they voted for a specific person on that underballot that they thought would do the best job for whatever the case may be, whoever it is. And they lost. And they said, well, you know, I went out there. I did my part. I voted. I tried. We'll get them next time. Uh-uh. What happens when you realize you and your candidate didn't fucking lose? What happens when you realize you and your candidate fucking won? And due to fraud, someone else was installed as the whoever in that state. Think about that for a second. Think about how many people may possibly have been fucked over on those down ballots like that. Nobody's paying attention to it because they're so fucking focused on Trump and Biden. But every, I mean, let's say just, you know, there was, let's say there was, we'll just go like a cheesy little number, like five people on those under ballots that wound up being elected that really technically shouldn't have been elected because the other person wanted due to electoral fraud, they got in. Five people. You change those five people 
And now the people that actually voted them in, we the people, now they have the person that's serving them that they wanted. It is our choice to choose who goes in those fucking positions. Not a politician, not somebody that's on the take, us. So if our person didn't get in, we thought it wasn't the up and up. We're like, oh, you know, we'll get them next time. Better luck next time. And now we realize we got fucked. There's going to be a lot of fucking pissed off people. And it has nothing to do with Biden, Trump, Democrats, or Republicans. It's they got fucked with their candidate and they know it wasn't fucking fair. And if you got fucked and you voted for somebody and someone else technically didn't win but got installed, how much security do you think the electoral process has? How much can you trust the electoral process from that point on? How much can you trust all the other elections that have taken place in America where people that are doing shitty jobs for those states, that people didn't vote them in, the majority of the state didn't vote them in, they're like, oh, we're stuck with them, we got to do whatever. How many of those fucking states would be different if those were found to be fraud in the elections too? When people hear election, they think about the president. There's so many other people involved in election. And I think that's the problem. I think what's happening right now is everybody's focusing on that one thing and we say, okay, look, CNN is saying that, you know what? This, this may be a fact, but you can't change the president. Okay, maybe a fact. And if they do, if they do, okay, CNN was dead set on this was the most secure election of all time and that nobody would ever prove any fraud because it was perfect. It was a pristine election. And now they've come out and said, hey, well, you know, even if it was fucked up, you can't switch the president. Fine, we can't switch the president, but those people underneath, we can. And those people underneath, to be found out whether or not that was fucking bullshit or not and what kind of happy horseshit went on on election day to find out what really fucking happened. Because that changes our country just as much as the president does. But the bottom line is, if we the people, right, the people who voted, found out that they had the wool pulled over their eyes and someone else executed whatever the fuck it was to make false um, installations based on people that really didn't win, what do you think is going to happen? You think that they're just going to say, here's the deal, we figured it out and there was a bunch of people that fucked around, but... They didn't really win, but right now they're running the fucking state. So, unfortunately, we just have to let them run the state until next time. What the fuck? Do you realize what could happen from that point to the next election? And then how do you know the next election is fair? How do you know the next election is safe? You don't. If this one definitely wasn't and you don't correct it, the next one's going to be the same fucking thing. Why would the people who did this stop next time? They won't. So now it dredges up a lot of other stuff. So I'm sitting here looking at this stuff and I'm like, I do believe there was electoral fraud. I do believe those down ballots are just as important as the president. I don't know if if the president, I, I don't know what's going to happen because we haven't had the results yet, but we know it happened. Now, technically, if they can approve electoral fraud in on a large scale, the entire election could be in question. I mean, every, everything that's on it. So I don't know what happens next. I don't know if they... If they just install the right people, I don't know if they have another runoff election, if the people that won get disqualified and they just go with the person that got the votes, the most amount of votes next to them, they get bumped up. Like, I don't know what happens. But I do know for a fact that there are things popping up now that it looks like there is 100% electoral fraud. Where we go from here, I don't know. But the bottom line is, let's be real, guys. Take your prejudices aside, whether you, you hate Biden, whether you hate Trump, whether you love them, it doesn't matter. Whether you're a Democrat, whether you're a Republican, take it all aside. Push it aside. Do you want to know whether your vote counts? Because you may be like, hey, you know what? I'm a Democrat in Biden won. So fuck those Republicans. Fuck Trump. Fuck them all. Who cares? What happens if next time the Republicans figure out a same way to do the same shit <clears throat> excuse me, that they did this time, the other, the other side, Democrats, did this time, and pull that shit on you in the next election and fuck you over the next election? Then there's no fucking way you could get out of it. How would you feel then? Just because you won this time doesn't mean this shit is never going to happen again. It doesn't mean the other side isn't going to get one over on you next time. Like every single one of us that fucking believes that this election was not on the up and up should be all for the audits and finding a way to make sure that this can't happen again. Otherwise, stop talking about elections. Stop going to the fucking voting polls. Stop doing your fucking campaigns for these people. Running around the signs of the bumper stickers. Stop. Because none of it fucking matters if someone can just push a button and change the fucking results to what they want. Think about it. So in closing, yes, I believe it happened. No, I don't believe it has to do with the president and the presidential election uh, only. I think it has a lot to do with those down ballots too. And it has a lot to do with the local governments. 
there's a lot of local governments right now, people that are being recalled. Like there was a lot going on in general. And I think that we're going to find, this is going to be an unprecedented time. I think that we find something that has been going on all along. I don't believe this is like just the 2020 election. I believe this has been going on for many, many years or many, many decades, many, many presidents. And I think it's all going to come out now. And I don't know why in 2021 has to be it. But in our lifetime, I think it's an amazing thing to see. Times are changing. And I think this is going to be something that um, really defines 2021 in America in general. Based on the fact that if they find that this was what really happened, what do you do? Do you correct it? Right? Do you stand strong in your beliefs and your values and you correct it and you do the right thing? Or do you become this passive, aggressive, passive, like, oh, we'll just take care of it next time. I got news for you. If we sit back and we go, oh, well, you know, oh, well, we'll fix it next. We're going to look so fucking weak that every fucking country is going to come after us. There is no fucking way I think America is going to let that happen. So we'll have to see. I'm not a political major, uh, science major. I don't really like politics. I'm interested in them based on the last year of all the stuff that I've seen and heard. But we'll see uh, pretty soon what happens. And uh, I can tell you guys one thing right now. I'm cool either way. Because, again, I didn't vote. And I still, whether they find election fraud or not, I don't give a fuck because I'm not going to vote. Because I still believe until I see on CNN that Jerry can walk into fucking CVS and buy a bottle of testosterone to gain 10 pounds because he feels like he'd feel better and look better and have a better life like that. I don't believe I'm in control of any of this shit. Bowsertrain at gmail.com. Leave comments down below. But don't fight. Bowsertrain.com is a blog. It's a no control bicep. And we are out.